Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Rosello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. On today's Two Minutes of Anatomy, I'm going to speak about the flexor hallucis longus muscle. The flexor hallucis longus muscle is classified as an extrinsic foot muscle because its origin is located outside of the foot. It's located in the lower leg and the insertion is in the foot. So it makes foot bones move, but the meat of the muscle, the origin of the muscle is located outside of the foot. So therefore it is classified as an extrinsic muscle. The flexor hallucis longus muscle originates on the posterior aspect of the fibula and it inserts onto the plantar aspect of the distal phalange of the great toe. Its concentric action is great toe flexion. It is innervated by the tibial nerve from vertebral levels S2 and S3. Now it seems a little bit unusual that the origin of a muscle that flexes the great toe is located on the lateral aspect of the lower leg but it is. So that's something that a lot of people get confused but again the origin of the flexor hallucis longus muscle is on the posterior aspect of the fibula bone and the fibula bone is the long slender bone that is located on the lateral part of the lower leg. So again the origin of the flexor hallucis longus muscle is on the posterior aspect of the fibula and its tendon attaches to the plantar part or the bottom of the distal phalange of the great toe. Its concentric action is great toe flexion and it is innervated by the tibial nerve.